Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode from NetworkFromHome.com. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can factory reset your router. And we're going to be talking about when you want to do that and then some other ways to do that. And this information is also detailed in the blog post on our blog, which I will include below if you want to get more information. In this video, I'll only be explaining how you can perform a factory reset of your router through the online settings page for your router. So we're going to show you how to log in, what you should look for, and ultimately what you need to click in order to factory reset your router. So let's dive into it. Let's open up our browser. So open up any internet browser, and then you want to access your router's online settings page. And you can find the location of this. There's probably a sticker on your router that details what the IP address is for your router that you need to go to. Otherwise, your user's manual will have it. You can also probably find it online. But for me, the IP address is 192.168.0.1 for my router. So let's type that in. HTTP dash dash 192.168.0.1. And then we press enter. And it takes us to our router's login page. So now is the appropriate time to put in your username and password. And obviously, you must know what those are in order to take this next step. But let's do this now. Let's log in with our username and password. Okay, we have successfully logged into our router and you'll probably have a page similar to this one. I have a TP-Link Archer A7 router and this is what the settings page looks like. It might look similar depending upon the manufacturer and the model of your router, but they all pretty much have the same settings. So when we talk about a factory reset, that's a more advanced option. So it makes sense then that we have to go to the advanced tab for the advanced settings. So let's do that. Let's go to the advanced tab. Okay, now we're on the advanced tab. Let's find out where we need to go to factory reset our router. So if you scroll down on the left, there are lots of options and categories here of settings. And if you scroll down a little bit, you see that there's a system tool setting. And it might say system settings, or it might be similar to this, but that's where you wanna go because this is a system setting that you're making when you perform a factory reset. So let's click on system tools and see what our options are. Okay, so we have a little bit of a drop down. When we click system tools, it gives us sub settings and subcategories that we can go to. So which one makes sense here? We wanna to go to backup and restore because we wanna restore our router to its factory settings. Okay, so we're on this page. It had, you have the ability to back up the settings of your router if you wanna save them. You can restore your router to a previous configuration that you may have saved, or you can perform a factory default restore. And there are two different options here, and it's important to make the distinction between the two. So you can perform a restore of all of the settings on your router, but keep your username and password. As I mentioned before, in order to access these settings, you need to know what your username and password is. So at this point, does it really make sense to restore your router's login to the default username and password? It might not. It depends upon your circumstance. And for me, I would probably keep the username and password I have because I don't want to go through the process of changing it away from the default password once I log back into it after, after I perform a factory reset. 
But in any case, let's say we want to perform a clean slate of our router. We want to do a full factory restore, set it back to what it was like when it came from the factory, essentially. So you just click factory restore, and then it gives the option. Are you sure you want to restore the router to its factory defaults? And you would click yes. And then the next step, what would happen is your router will reboot and it will take some time to reboot, but once it does, you'll notice that it is back to its factory settings. It's back to its original configuration. An important thing to keep in mind here is that everything will be reverted back to what it was. This includes your Wi-Fi network names and passwords. So your, your, all your devices won't be able to connect to the internet until you either connect them to the default network names that the router came with, or you access these online settings and you change your Wi-Fi networks to have identification names and passwords that you want. So it's important to understand the ramifications of doing a factory reset of your router, but it is a very useful tool if you want to start over or you're having poor performance or if you can't even get into your router at all so just keep in mind factory reset pretend that you're buying a new router so if you perform a factory reset treat your router as if you just pulled it out of the box for the first time and just think about the steps that you have to take setting up your network id names and passwords logging into it with its default username and password, and then changing that password to something that is personal and something that only you know, that will greatly improve the security of the router. And then you can go in and make any other changes you want to it, whether it be you wanna set up a reboot schedule where your router will automatically reboot, or you have different settings that you have previously changed that you want to change again. So those are all things to keep in mind. And if you have any questions about the information that I presented today, we can go ahead and get those answered for you if you put them down below in the comments section. If you have any comments, any questions, any concerns, feel free to add them there. Otherwise, you can check out the blog post that I have included below. And you can ask questions on that forum as well. And I'll do my best to respond to everybody's questions. But I hope this was helpful for everybody. You should now be able to log into your router and perform a factory reset of your device. So congratulations to everybody. You've learned something today. I, I've learned quite a bit just going through this process myself. And we hope to catch you around again. Stay tuned for more episodes from networkfromhome.com. Thanks a lot.